I'm at Long Beach, California, where once a year this quaint port town comes alive with the roar of engines and the screeching of tires as the city hosts the Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach. This is the 38th annual running of the three-day event. Race fans have a full menu of racing, including IndyCar, America Le Mans, drifting, and the ever-popular Toyota Celebrity Race. Also in the mix, the Pirelli World Challenge, which offers three exciting classes of sports car racing. I had a chance to ride along with PwC driver Lawson Ashenback of Team Tree Speed in his Porsche 911 GT3 Cup car. But before my ride, I spent a few minutes with True Speed's newest hot shoe and got his insights on the upcoming Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach. Lawson, you're starting the season with a new team back in the GT class. You made a, quite quite the splash in St. Petersburg. Can you tell me about that race? Yeah, definitely. It was uh, it was obviously a great way to start the season. Um, anytime you can come out of the first weekend with a win, you know you've you've sort of done your homework over the off season. You got a really well put together a program and you're ready for the season to really get underway. So uh, we were very happy with that. It was a tough weekend. You know, it's a street course, a lot of cars, uh, a lot of carnage, a lot of traffic. But, uh, you know, the goal is, was to pretty much, you know, keep the nose clean and go after a win. And fortunately, we were able to get, get a pole and, and a win. And, uh, you know, we'll go into Long Beach from there and hope, hope for the best. Have you raced in Long Beach before? Yeah, I've actually raced here uh, three other times. Yeah, how'd you do in the past races? Well, uh, we ran. I ran GT here twice, and unfortunately, this has been one of those weekends or one of those races that uh, I just can't get the monkey off my back. And and uh, you know, we've qualified well. Uh, we've either raced well or been fast. Um, you know, I, I've been taken out a couple times. Actually, technically, I've sort of been taken out in all three of those races. So, uh, coming here next weekend, I'm I'm really looking forward to the race. We really want this one bad. This is sort of the crown jewel, I believe, of of the World Challenge season. Um, you know, it's such a big event. You have IndyCar here. You have 150,000 people here, and uh, and that's what we want to see as as drivers, because we want the fans to be here. And so um, I think I think I can speak for everybody on this team that we really want this one bad. Right. What do you think of the, the the circuit here in Long Beach? It's it's actually I think the best street course out there. Uh, you have a lot of room to pass. You have long straights, um, and and it's a very wide track. Uh, you know, some parts of it do get narrow. That's that's sort of a given. But most of the street courses I've been at in the past uh, are very narrow. It's very hard to pass. A lot of traffic, a lot of kind of follow the leader. Here you can really fight and try to get the win and, and, and uh, sort of push your limits a little bit. And um, it's, it's a little bit forgiving, I, I would say, which, which is a good thing because it allows us to push our limits a little bit harder. You can miss an apex here and there. You can get the car sideways a little bit here and there. But, but there is no you know, uh, spin out. There is no uh, room, or I should say room to spin out. There's walls lining the entire track. And, uh, you know, it makes an error usually a big uh, issue, you know, which usually leads to a wreck. So um, it's very important to keep the car on the track. It's very important to keep it in, inside the walls and, uh, and, and do be a little bit conscious of the fact that, uh, you know, we have to make it to the end of the race. You know, points is so important in this series, being only a, on, a, oh, I guess, a 12-race series. So, uh, you know, even though we do want to fight, we really got to come out of here with our nose clean and, and uh, you know, get on with the next, uh, next race of the season. Now, you're back in the uh, GT Cup car here. How does it compare the Porsche to the Honda Civic Si that you drove last year? Yeah, well, obviously it's a totally different car. You know, you got the engine in the rear. Um, you know, this, this car right here is a pur purpose-built race car. It comes directly from Porsche as a race car. And uh, the Honda was a bit of a street car that had been converted to a race car. So, um, you know, a lot of street parts on there. It wasn't quite as fast, obviously. It didn't have as much power. Um, so, so obviously getting back into one of these things was a very big difference. But fortunately for my past, uh, I've been in Porsches before, so I kind of knew what to expect. And, uh, you know, being with the team like True Speed and our sponsors, Privacy Star and Entrust, uh, you know, the car was, was spot on right at the beginning. And, and we had to change things just a little bit from my driving style from last year. And, and uh, it, you know, eventually came to us uh, for St. Pete. So uh, uh, it's, it's a, you know, I, I always go back to the same word for a Porsche, flawless. You know, it does everything well. It brakes well, it powers down well, uh, shifts well. Uh, and uh, it's, it's really, uh, it's kind of an honor to be driving a GT3 Cup car. Do you have a preference between a street course and a traditional race course? I like them both. Uh, to be honest with you, you know, street courses, I believe, are, are uh, sort of separate the men from the boys, if you can say. Uh, you know, there, there's, uh, there's a lot of challenges between crowns of the road, the curbing, the walls. Um, and and it, it comes down to, you know, sometimes when you get to a permanent road course, the car can be the winner. 
you know, if you have the right car, the right track, you can go in. At a street course, you can still have the right car, for instance, that might work here, but you, know, you still really have to drive it, and you really have to drive it well uh, to make sure you can get to the end of the race and challenge for the win. But um, but overall, I do have my favorites. This is obviously one of my favorite street courses I've I've ever run, uh, if not the the favorite. And um, you know, I've got other tracks like Road Atlanta, uh, Watkins Glen, Laguna Seca, Mid Ohio, especially um, are sort of my favorite permanent road courses. So uh, Long Beach is, is definitely one of the one of the best. You won last year's touring car class. W what do you have in store for this year? Well, obviously the goal is, is championship. Uh, every season, every every car I get in, the goal is to win races and then win the championship. And um, you know, at the beginning of the season, uh, you know, people really aren't thinking about championship. I'm not really either right now. We got to win races. We got to get get a good uh, good solid part or uh, I guess place in the point standings. And uh, fortunately, right now we're basically battling for the lead of the point standings. So um, you know, we want to win. And uh, you know the championship will kind of take care of itself. And I always tell everybody, it's your know, championships are great for the resume, but there's really nothing, nothing like crossing the finish line first. That feeling of winning is uh, is something that you crave as a driver, and, and uh, something that I want really bad every time. Every time I'm in the car. I live here in Long Beach. I've been through these streets numerous times, hundreds of times, um, but never in a race car. What am I in for? Oh, you're in for <laughs> you're in for a lot. <laughs> Um, you know, I think the biggest thing you'll find out is how close we're getting to the walls, the speeds that we're taking through each corner, the braking. Uh, this Porsche is just such a great car for this track. So I think you're going to get uh, get one heck of a ride. That no was problem. a rush. I've never gone through the streets of Lund Long Beach quite like that. Really? That was that very was cool. Very, man. I'm very glad cool. you liked that. I wish, wish I could have taken you for a full lap, but uh, yeah. 